Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to transfer your WhatsApp and WhatsApp business from one old Android device to a new Android device. The only problem here is that we don't have access to these numbers anymore. So I'm going to show you how to update the numbers so you can transfer from an old phone to a new phone. On my left I have a OnePlus N30 and on my right I have a Samsung Galaxy A15. The first thing you should do is identify the old numbers and the new numbers. So let's see that. We're going to go to settings, mobile network. These are the numbers for the personal WhatsApp and the business WhatsApp. Remember, I don't have access to these numbers anymore. So that's why I cannot transfer to another device because WhatsApp is going to send me a text message to these numbers that I don't have access to anymore. And here, if you go to connections, scene manager, you're going to see the new numbers that I do have access. So first we're going to change the numbers on WhatsApp business and WhatsApp personal from the old numbers to the new numbers. So my suggestion is to clearly identify the old number and the new number because you're going to need it. Let's do that first. Let's forget about this phone for a minute and let's concentrate on this phone. So let's start with regular WhatsApp. Open WhatsApp, click here, the three dots, click settings. And here, guys, you can see the number. The old personal number is 754-313-9520. This is the old one. I don't have access to this, okay? So we're going to change this. We're going to click on account and change number. Changing your phone number will migrate your account info, groups, and settings. Before proceeding, please confirm that you are able to receive SMS or calls at your new number. If you have both a new phone and a new number, change the number on the old phone first. So that's what we're going to do, guys. Change the number. I'm going to click next. Enter your old phone number. The old personal number is 754-313-9520. And the new number is 305-746-3678. And I'm using two numbers from the U.S., but you can be in another country. So this can be plus 57, plus 51, whatever country you are, you can change from one country to another one. There's no problem. Another thing, the beautiful thing about changing the number is that you don't need access to the old number anymore. Actually, I don't have access to the old number. You only need access to the new number because you're going to get an SMS to the new number. Okay, let's see if we get the SMS here, right? Click next. You're about to change your number from 754-313-9520-305-746-3678. You have the options to notify contacts, all contacts, contacts you chat with, or custom. You can select the person, okay? In my case, I'm not going to notify nobody. And then click done. It's connecting. And let's see if we get any text here, though. And it says verify your number. Okay. Go here. And right now, I just got the code right now. Look. And this is the code. 242078. Verification complete. Okay, perfect. And this is the other confirmation. Your number has been successfully changed from 754 to 305. That's perfect. So now that we have our new number attached to this old WhatsApp, immediately we're going to do a backup. Why? Because by doing this backup, we're going to merge that WhatsApp backup with the new number. Go to chats, go to chat backup, you know, include videos. And this is where we're going to back it up. All right. So amigo Alex two at gmail.com backup. I only have 65 megabytes. Okay. So I'm ready. I just did the backup. Everything went smooth. And now I'm just going to open WhatsApp here. I downloaded WhatsApp here, English, agree and continue. I'm going to click allow. They're asking me for the phone number. What phone number are we going to put? We're going to put the new number, which is 305-746-3678. And next. Is this number correct? Yes. Is requesting a code? Look, because I'm logging into this WhatsApp, I just need to put this code. 916. They didn't send me a text, so that's fine. We can do it like that. You have been logged out. So I've been logged out of my personal WhatsApp on this phone. And now I'm here. Contacts and media continue. I'm going to click allowed, allowed, allowed all. And it's looking for backups. And it's going to restore from the backup I just did one minute ago, guys. Remember, 65 megabytes, restore. And by doing this, I just saved my WhatsApp backup. Because remember, I started with a backup with a phone without access. 
Now I save that backup. And now look, it's restoring the backup. 64 megabytes restore. So I think that's it. The biggest chat that I have is this one. So let's see if we move everything. Look, guys, stickers, emojis, emojis, Excel files, document files, PDF, contacts. And I have a lot of uh, pictures here and also videos. You see? So everything transfers successfully, guys. So we just save a WhatsApp account that we didn't have access to anymore because when you lose access to the phone, WhatsApp is not going to allow you to move your WhatsApp because they're going to send you a confirmation, right? We just save this personal WhatsApp account. We have it here already. We are good. Now let's do the business. The business might be different because it's a different app. So with business, we're going to go to the three dots settings and you can click here and this is the number of the business right 754-274-6741 now the new number is this 305-540-3053 so how can we do that let's let's see here account change number the same thing change number if you have both a new number and a new phone change your number on the old phone first that's what we're going to do we're going to move from an old device to a new device and we're going to change the number too so we need to change the number first on the old device click next and here it is phone number the old one 754-274-6741 the new number is 305-540-3053 next Please double check because it's easy to make a mistake here, right? I'm not gonna notify. Click not done. It's connecting, it's changing the number. Probably we're gonna get a, a text here, right there. That's the text. What's that business code, you see? We need to put this code here on the old device. It's 752294. And it says verification completes, changing the number. Your phone number has been successfully changed from the old phone to the new phone. Okay, you can go here and settings. You can click here, 540-3053. Now that you changed to a new number, now you are gonna do a backup. Okay, settings, chats, chat backup. I'm using another account here. I can change this, I can change this. I'm gonna use uh, suamigoalex2 at gmail.com daily include videos backup i only have 2.3 megabytes so it's going to be fast 2.3 and that's good another thing guys you know google only give you 15 gigabytes of storage right so if your backup is more than 50 gigabytes of storage you need to upgrade your storage if not you're not going to be able to back up the whole thing right all right so that's done the other thing i need to do is go in here you need to download whatsapp business Agree and continue. Use a different number. Allow, and the number is 305-540-3053. Next. Is this the correct number? Yes, it is. Requesting code. Now the code, oh, look at this. It's getting it on from the old device. That's fine. 264-403. You have log out. Continue. Allowed. Allowed. Allowed old. And it's looking for backups. Look, one minute ago, the one we just did on suamigoalex at gmail.com. Restore. Next. Alex Business. I'm going to skip that one. And look. Not now. I have all my chats, guys. I have all my chats here. Oh, okay. It's so... Everything is working. Everything was done successfully, right? We just save both backups because we pretty much lost both backups when we didn't have access to the phone number. Now we have two new phone numbers and we save, we restore those old backups by changing the number first on the old device and then on the new device, right? Just uh, confirming. So that's it, guys. That's the tutorial I wanted to do. I hope you like it. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you want to support my channel, guys, the best way to do it is to subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.